Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to food, specifically hot dogs and even more specifically the Chicago style hot dog. You see one thing I've learned since moving to the United States is that popular food items often have localized variations depending on the city. For example, people where I live are all about the Chicago deep dish pizza while 300 miles east Detroit style pizza reigns supreme. And so it is with hot dogs. You've got the New York, the Fenway Frank, the Michigan, the Seattle, the Kansas, the Sonoran, the West Virginian, the Detroit Coney, the Hawaiian, the Dodger Dog, the Texas Tommy, the Fish Cake Dog, and yes, the Chicago-style hot dog. And so, at the risk of being exiled, today's the day that I finally give my verdict on the Windy City's second most famous dish. But before I do that, if you're new to my channel and haven't had a chance to subscribe, do that now! And so, without further ado, let's hit the road. Get out of the f***ing way. Where are we going? Well, I figured, wife, to avoid autograph hunters, we could go to a little-known secret hideout of a place that Chicagoans don't know about called Portillo's. You know that Portillo's are all over Chicagoland. Are they? It's a chain. Wh really? Yes. Right, I'll take my glasses off. Well, on a scale of one to hungry, how hungry are you, wife? Pretty hungry. There is the magic that is Portillo's. Magic? Well, I'm making that claim before I've even tried it. I like hot dogs. Me too, this should be good. Come on, cars, I'm hungry. Well, we just looked at the menu and there's an option where you can get two hot dogs for a specific price. And at first I was thinking that we'd have one each, but I am a greedy pig and want two to myself. Tara? I mean, that's fine with me. You do what you need to do. Hi, could I get the two hot dog uh, combo? What would you like on it? Uh, I'd like to get the Chicago style hot dog for All both right. of them. And just everything on it, basically. <laughs> Pink. Let's do that again. For me, hot dogs have always been synonymous with the United States. But just as with pizza, A1 steak sauce, Hollywood actress Amy Adams, America is not where hot dogs were born. She was born in Italy, for those of you wondering. In fact, it is widely agreed that the concept of pairing dog sausages with bread was introduced to the US by German immigrants in the second half of the 19th century. One story goes that Charles Feltman, a German butcher and street vendor at Coney Island, served sausages inside milk rolls, whatever they are. Either way, the concept gradually took off, even if Americans didn't yet have a name for it. After all, it wouldn't be until 1884 that the term hot dog began showing up in American media with this reference in the Evansville Daily Courier being an early example. But even then, it only referred to the sausage meat rather than the entire combination. You see, the word dog was once synonymous with sausage, supposedly because manufacturers at the time were accused of using dog meat as an ingredient. My puppy is not impressed. Well, now that we've ordered, how excited for food are you? Ready, come on, let me have some. All right, first thing I notice is that is one absolutely ginormous pickle. And for somebody that doesn't really care for pickles, this should be interesting. But we can make it a lot better by adding some ketchup. What do you think, wife? Don't do that. Why? Because it already has mustard and relish on it. But ordinarily, Chicagoans would add ketchup to it. Is no, that right? No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't, this right. This is a Chicago-style dog. Well, that's fine because I don't eat added sugar anymore anyway, so don't want that. Better take a bite. How long have you lived in the U.S.? What? Just uh, 15 years. Eat the hot dog correctly. What? But you mean like that? You've seen those videos of politicians who do it that way and then they end up a really embarrassing meme. I don't want to be that. You're not a politician. But I am an embarrassing meme. Very good. I am picking up a lot of the gherkin slash pickle, which I don't actually hate. It's like humans. 
I like them a lot of the time, but only in small doses. I feel like when the pickle is bigger than the sausage, we've got problems. So sorry to my fellow Chicagoans if this is utter blasphemy. I'm just gonna take the pickle out. Concerningly, it's not just Chicagoans that might come at me in the comments. I'll also have to contend with 19th century Austro-Hungarians who I've just realized are all dead. You see, way back in 1893, the seeds for what would become the Chicago-style hot dog were sown. For it was then at the Chicago World's Fair that two Austrian-Hungarian immigrants unveiled to the masses a round of Vienna beef frankfurter sausages, a brand still favoured by Chicagoans today. However, it would be another 36 years before somebody had the bright idea to put them on a bun. That someone, reportedly, was a once popular restaurant by the name of Flukies. Flukies is said to have been where the pork-free, kosher, all-beef frank originated. And anybody doing the maths will know that 1893 plus 36 equals 1929, a year in which America entered into something called the Great Depression. And while that part of the story is grave enough to warrant somber music, the Great Depression did something surprising. It actually helped the Chicago-style hot dog. At the cost of a nickel, Chicagoans clearly loved their pickle. It rhymes. The ingredients of bread, mustard, pickle relish, onions, a dill pickle, hot peppers and tomatoes proved a cheap meal for Chicagoans pinching their pennies. It also helped the hot dogs cause that the city was now home to thousands of German and Slav immigrants who sought out frankfurters in much the same way that I used to seek out imported crunchy bars. For a time, the Chicago style was briefly known as the Depression Sandwich, which raises one very critical question. Is the hot dog really a sandwich? Let me know in the comments below. Well, before I have my second hot dog, I'm just going to reflect on what I just ate. I was expecting to come here and give it five Lorenzos out of five, but I just, I think the pickle overwhelmed me. Now, once I removed the pickle, the Lorenzos went up. I think we're looking more like it's a, a four and a half. But with the pickle, it's a two and a half. Well, after all this time, this still is the only way to eat fries by dipping them in mayonnaise. Embarrassingly, at that moment, we had to temporarily stop the recording when a school of autograph hunters breached the outdoor area. But before they could get to us, we headed back inside, only to realize they were here for Vince Vaughn. In the meantime, I still had one more hot dog to devour. Without the pickle, please, just don't be angry because the rest of this looks great. And I recognize that my distaste for this is down to my aversion to pickles. And that's not your fault. That's not Chicago's fault. So now this is the second go, and I'll speak next when my mouth isn't full. What do you think of the decor in here? It's nice. It, it doesn't know what it wants to be, if I'm honest, but I don't hate any of it. Yeah, because it's got all this kind of Americana type stuff over here. And then over here is a picture of Tara on the wall from like a hundred years ago. How do you feel about that? Look, she's got the same hair as you and everything. You just planned this, don't you? You knew these photos were here before we turned up. No. <laughs> you just look like that, don't you? You're a time traveler. Look, there's you with an umbrella. Uh, there's you straddling a plank. That's not a euphemism. Despite my irreversibly British attitude toward pickles, I quite liked Portillo's, arguably the most famous place to get a Chicago-style hot dog in the history of Earth's history. But how did I actually fare with my second depression sandwich? Uh, the relish and the onions, superb. Even the peppers really make this thing. And, didn't mention this, type of bun. I like this kind of bun. I think it's one of my favorites. It's very soggy now, but that's good because I am out of drinks. It's less messy now that I know that it's gonna be messy because I plan for it to be messy and therefore it stops being messy. Is it all over my face? And so that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had a Chicago style hot dog and what you think of pickles. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter and or threads. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. Thank you as ever to my ponderers who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a ponderer and gain access to my secret live stream and my secret video series, Diary of a YouTube Sensation, you can do so today at patreon.com slash lostinthepond or by clicking the join button below. Until the next video, goodbye.